Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Good news, we have supposed confirmation that the secret layer for Marvel will be reprinted. So before we get started all that, don't forget comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Comments down below will feed that YouTube algorithm, so hey, go check it out. Also, links down there to the giveaway for Thanksgiving uh, at the end of this month plus eBay, TCG Player Store, and all that good jazz. So, let's take a look at this little article and dig into it and find out, is it true? Will we get reprints of Marvel? So, in this article here by Mr. Fink, it says here, a couple weeks ago, a hugely anticipated secret layer super drop went live around the world. Unfortunately, uh, what should have been an exciting time for Marvel fans and MTG both quickly turned into a debacle as players would be Collectors experienced no end of issues, largely thanks to a line-skipping exploit that would be easily abused. So, um, I think this in itself is a good reason and or explanation of the shenanigans that tends to happen, which I, I don't think we're ever going to be able to get away from them. Uh, and also why I highly suggested that people not, I repeat, not buy from scalpers. It's okay to not have something and let it just go for a year. Um, I know people don't want to do that, but to be fair, if people would stop paying double what something's worth just because they couldn't buy it on time, it would not make people sell things for double what they're worth and buy more than they need. I see it all the time, and I'm, I would hope you guys do too because let's be honest. We don't have to have these cards when you can make a proxy until you get them at a reasonable price. And when it comes to supply and demand, reasonable price is what you're willing to pay. And if you drive the price up by paying absorbent prices, there's nobody to blame but yourself. But anyway, um, so as it says here, after long queues and those meticulous jumping them, uh, weren't bad enough. The entire Super Drop sold out in under five hours. As a result, many fans missed out. But the problems didn't even end there. Now the cards are being shipped to players. Some are opening their packages to find out the cards are damaged or missing entirely. And uh, I've seen this on a lot of my Reddits and uh, groups I've been into. People have been posting cards of... Posting cards. Posting pictures of their cards coming from the Secret Layer Drop everywhere from being missing to the outside packaging having severe damage. I mean, to the point where it looks like someone took the secret layer sleeve that, you know, if you order it, you get a like a little flat cardboard envelope with the cards in it. They're bent in half. I don't know how that's happening, but it is. And a lot of people are really upset with it. So this has been a ginormous shit show. Uh... But yeah, what else would you expect from Wizards of the Coast um, and their inability to run a job or their run a job their their business their business not a job their business well it's their job to run their business and they they, they suck at both anyway uh, so the whole situation was a disaster from start to finish players are obviously frustrated uh, the sale featured five mechanically unique Marvel heroes um, and people were hoping. Um, they're quite pricey on secondary market. People are hoping in the future there'll be a glimmer of hope that we'll see them again. Well, previously there was never any doubt the mechanic unique magic cards from Secret Lair drops would be reprinted, as we've talked about before, but when they first appeared in the early days of Universes Beyond, Wizards promised this, in fact, they would be reprinted. So, um, eventually coined as Universes Within, the reprint policy guaranteed players wouldn't miss out, uh, if they didn't buy immediately, because uh, in case you guys didn't know, they were put into list slots in outcoming sets. Um, maybe not the set that's immediate, but the set that was three, six, or nine months down the road. And we started seeing that regularly, um, which was okay if you missed a secret layer. But again, back then, secret layers were printed demand, so there was no real demand for them to be in the list slot. If you get what I'm, if you pick it up what I'm putting down. Anyway. Sadly, with that news earlier this year, uh, Wizards started to walk back a promise thanks to major changes being made in Magic. Rather than in-universe versions of mechanically cards being promised, Wizards now only committed to reprinting cards at some point. While this is better than nothing, Wizards has no set plan 
to four reprints in the future. And this is obviously because the list slot is gone. Uh, with the rebranding and remaking of set boosters and draft boosters into the play booster, they removed the list slot in favor of special guests. So I think it's an improvement, but it also leaves very small uh, windows or ways to fix the problem with doing a reprint. So unsurprisingly, this set back uh, this set backward concern. On a lot of players, as they presented a worrying future, should Wizards keep backpedaling, it may only be a matter of time before reprints aren't promised at all. Thankfully, it doesn't seem that way, um, as reprints are still planned. Speaking on Blogatog, the head MTG designer, Mark Rosewater, confirmed that the recent mechanically unique Marvel superheroes will return. Now, there's no word on when or any of those things, uh, but there will be a chance that we'll be getting those cards. So... Uh, as it also mentions down here, there is plenty of skepticism. Uh, you know, it talks here about, you know, ultimately, this is the least Wizards could do as it needs to be steadfast policy going forward. Now that Secret Layer Drops are limited runs. Uh, and I think that's good policy. It's going to help them sell future sets if they reprint these cards into those sets. I think that's what they will do. I think we're going to start seeing these cards become part of the special guest scenario in some way, shape, or form. Um... Now, there's no answer on when it'll happen, so looking ahead to the 2025 calendar, where you know that they're getting a full Marvel set soon, maybe they'll be in there. Highly doubt it will. I don't think so. Uh, as it says here, the list is no more, so what will we replace with? Maybe they'll be in the um, special guest slot. So, um... So, for example, here it says technically special guests are an option, like I just mentioned, but these cards are meant to match the set's flavor. Now, reprinting Laura Croft Tomb Raider randomly into Ether Drift would look out of place without a complete universes within overhaul. Now, even if the special guests aren't the perfect solution, there are nonetheless a solution that Wizards could employ in the short term, in my personal opinion. Um, uh, that way there is doesn't have to be a guarantee of when or how but i really think if they don't put them into those special guest slots we're going to see these cards um maybe in a let's say um i don't want to say universes beyond but as a special card set inside of like for example with ixalan right we had jurassic world you know maybe maybe not in marvel but maybe in another set we'll have cards that are similar but not the exact cards or hell who knows maybe they'll decide to do that inside the marvel set but i i really think they already have that set and everything about it made already but future marvel sets that we already know will be happening they may take that whole ixalan dinosaurs jurassic world approach where it's marvel universes beyond marvel approach so it does fit the theme of the set moving forward now a lot of people can argue this, that they're not going to do it, and this, that, and the other. There's no evidence, yada, yada, yada. Say what you will. However, I did go check Blogatog, which is where Mark Rosewater puts his stuff, and I found on Blogatog this comment right here. Um, from one Marvel fan to another, uh, what does it? What's the, what's the chance of getting access to otherwise mechanically unique secret layer cards in a later product? Look like now, after the feedback was passed on, still low or impossible, followed up with all the unique mechanical cards from Marvel Secret Lair will appear later in some mechanical form, possibly with the same name in some product. So again, this leads me to think that Marvel sets moving forward will have these cards in there to kind of give us those reprints that we need, because also... It would be a good. It would, it would increase the selling point of the set itself to have these cards in it, plus any other special things in the set, which will make it more wanted. People want to buy it and help it sell better than it would have originally. So this is really just a bonus scenario where they can really make good on their profit by just giving us what we want at really little to no cost or change to what they do in the future, and. I just think that's probably a win-win for everybody. So, there you have it. I think we're going to get them. 
And I think it's just a matter of time. It probably won't be Spider-Man. It'll probably be 2026. But we will see these cards again unless they come up with some weird thing and manage to squeeze them in the 25. So with all that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. But hey, until next time, be kind because we're probably going to get a Marvel reprint for the Secret Lair. So kudos for us. And I hope to see you cross from the game table once we all have some damn Marvel cards. Jesus.